North Charleston residents are worried about the future of their neighborhoods. Yeah, neighbors along 29th Street, for example, say they have seen a dramatic decline in their neighborhood in the last few years, in part because of abandoned homes. 13 News reporter Lily Bradley working for you tonight with what the city plans to do about it. You know, back in the day, we had respectful people here. James Smith has lived in North Charleston for the last 20 years. It's not as harmonious as it used to be. Smith and his neighbors, like Ruth Rossler, say they no longer feel safe. 20 years ago, or even 10 years ago, you know, I was very comfortable if I woke up like at 3 or 4 in the morning, bringing my coffee out on the porch and just enjoying the nice morning, you know, having quiet. I would never do that right. I'd never do that today. I wouldn't do that today. Rossler lives next door to one of the four abandoned homes on their block. When you get these houses like this, and they're, if they're not a homeowner's home, mm -hmm. you're at risk for these uh, drifters to come in. Smith says these dilapidated homes are part of the problem. This is one of the reasons why. You know, they find these houses, they live in these houses, they start fires in these houses, and uh, we'll be happy when this is uh, all resolved. City Councilman Pat Jones is asking the mayor to start a new city task force against dilapidated buildings in the area. Neighbors hope that a new task force might help. I just hope that, you know, that our city's more concerned about, you know, the houses that are abandoned in our town and in our neighborhoods. We need to get that harmony back. In Charleston, Lily Bradley, 13 News, working for you.